Today is Sunday, May 25th. Time is 10.40 a.m. Inmate Molly Fisher, ID number 895680, is refusing to get up and walk to SMU. She's fainting in illness. Medical has taken her vitals. She's, everything is cleared there. Mental health has cleared her. Nurse Hannah and Ms. Stone, mental health duty officer, has cleared her. Everything is 10-4. Hands-on use of force will be used at this time to move her to SMU. The state of Georgia recently paid the parents of Molly Ann Fisher $1.5 million to settle a lawsuit alleging that inadequate medical care in the prison system left Molly Ann in a persistent vegetative state. This video was a key piece of evidence in that lawsuit. It shows officers at Lee Arendale State Prison using physical force to move an unresponsive Molly Ann to a cell in the prison's isolation unit on May 25th, 2014. Stand up on your feet. Stand Go to up. your feet. On your feet. Let's go. Good. We don't got a minute. We've been playing for three days. Go. Stand, stand up. up. Stand up. On your feet. Go. Put your feet up under you and stand up. The officers claimed Molly Ann was faking an illness. In fact, her health was deteriorating to the point where just two days later, she was in a coma and had to be hospitalized. At the hospital, she was treated for pneumonia, sepsis, renal failure, and a series of other serious medical conditions. The copy of the video you are seeing was obtained by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution from the Georgia Department of Corrections in response to an open records request. It has been edited for length and issues related to privacy. As the inmate Fisher at this time is refusing to stand up so the handcuffs can be removed from her. So at this time they will stay on her until she complies to stand up so that we can get the handcuffs off her.